Okay, this here is a 2002 Volkswagen Jetta TDI diesel with an ALH engine. The customer's complaint is they had a check engine light on and they stopped by their local auto parts store and they scanned it and said they had a glow plug trouble code. And not interesting, I've covered that before, but there is one part of this one that's a little bit interesting. Not sure whether this car is going to have this quirk or not, but I thought I'd make a real quick video. So let's look at the scan and see what trouble code it has. Okay, this does have a PO673 glow plug circuit trouble code for cylinder number three. Uh, the ALH cars have two systems, an early and a late. The early system will only trigger a code for 380 that says glow plug circuit in general. The later cars trigger a cylinder specific glow plug trouble code. And this one's obviously for cylinder number three. But there's an interesting quirk, and that's why I'm making this video, because of that quirk. We'll amp check the glow plugs to pinpoint which glow plug is bad. Okay, I'm set up to amp test the glow plugs. And I have my amp meter here, voltmeter. The glow plug bridge taken off the glow plugs. Okay, as I said in my other video, when you do this, you just want to tap this. You don't want to, like, touch it on there and leave it on there and draw too much amperage through a um, glow plug. Probably not a problem on this model, but other models it could be, so just make it a habit to just tap it. I'm going to tap it and we'll measure the amp draw. You see it went to 2.5, 2.3, 2.0, 1.0, 2.8. And that's what they do. Now, I mean, now I'll move the alligator clip to number two. Alligator clips on the number two glow plug now. And tap, 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 and you can see there nothing's happening. I can just touch it solid, completely touching it and holding it on there, and no amperage flowing on the number two. There's number one, there's number two. But wait, we had a glow plug trouble code for number three. So I'll move the alligator clip to the number three. And there it is, number one, number two, alligator clip on number three. I'm kind of worried it might be touching the head there. Let me reposition it. Okay, so we have number one, number two, number three. And I'm tapping, and it's drawing amperage. 2.4, 2.3, 2.1, 2.0, 1.8. Now I'll move it to number four. Probably don't need to move it to number four. Here's my point that despite the fact that we had a trouble code for number three, number three is okay, number two is the problem. Um, as you work on these cars you learn that most of the later ones when you have a glow plug trouble code it's backwards if it says you have a number four global bad glow plug you have a number one bad glow plug If it says you have a number one bad bad glow plug you have a number four bad glow plug so you might even consider it that the glow, for glow plug trouble codes that they're numbered backwards one two three four that's the whole point of this video that doesn't mean that the cylinders are numbered backwards. The cylinder nearest the 
Harmonic balancer is still cylinder number one. Just for glow plug trouble codes, they are backwards on some of the later cars. The earlier cars just give you a 380 and don't tell you which cylinder it is, so that's irrelevant on those. You have to amp check those in order to know which one's bad. Um, I have seen some cars that are not backwards, so you have to be careful of that. You don't want to just change it. You want to amp check to know for sure to know for sure which one is needed to be changed. Uh, also, if you were ambitious and creative, you could wire, when you do a replacement harness, you could wire the glow plug system in the opposite way, and then your codes would be correct when you uh, uh, had trouble codes for the glow plugs. Probably not needed, but if you wanted to do that, you could. We don't do that here. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and visit my website at www.kansasitytdi.com.